Well, Evian are in real danger of being caught by Valenciennes, and Pascal Dupras side needed to take advantage of their rival's loss to PSG. Lille's start to 2014 is threatened to derail their third place ambitions and a possible return to the Champions League. Last week's win over Sochaux was their first in six. Evian were the first to threaten. Marco Rubin played through. But he shot straight at Vincent Inyema. The flick by Papi Amadou Sugu put in the Argentine through. He failed to add to the one goal he scored since arriving from Demo Kiev. Evian did take the lead in the 15th minute. Kevin Berrigo heading a beauty. That his second in two matches. Sugu with the cross. Berigo's dominant header, his eighth of the season. But Lille were level 23 minutes in. Divock Origi took it for a walk. His terrific curling effort found the bottom corner. Only following Berigo's lead, his second in his many games, third of the season. And the halftime whistle. Brought the first half to a close, 1-1. The score really doing neither for either side. Battling at the opposite ends of the table. Well, Duprat looking relaxed on the bench. But it was the visitors who almost took the lead. Solomon Kalou playing in Nolangru. A terrific save from Bertrand. Laquet in the Evian goal. Well, it was a penalty though that got Evian back in front and on the cusp of a vital three points. But the challenge and the handball either could have been penalised. Cedric Mongongu happily accepting his third of the season and Evian a vital lead. Well, Evian have dropped more points after leading than anyone else in the league. And incredibly, it struck again to the delight of René Girard. Ryan Mendez's mishit cross, finding the post. And subsequently, the net. Well, the final whistle, Lille hold on to third, but their chasing pack giving more hope. Evian only three from the drop.